Okay. I want to get in here, up in here, and I tighten up the lettering around the trim with some scratching with a dowel off camera. And now I'm going to work on the straps and his face mask. real hard to see this color because it's a light gray which is really close to this white but I'll let it dry a couple times and hit it again and it'll start darkening up a little bit and I'll highlight the edges with a dowel Give it that three dimensional look. See if you can see it. What I'm doing in there, up in here. Shine light on it, it gets. But I gotta work on my lighting situation, but can't wait till the planets are lined up. You gotta start with what you got till you get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Right, so now I'm doing here. Probably like where the music at. I'm just not in the mood right now for the music. Kind of wanting to make new stuff. As the music goes, and my head's been like trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it the last couple of days.
This is always the fun part to me when you get past that coloring book stage. I know one guy was telling me that the picture I had posted up that it um it looked done to him. But it's it didn't even look close to me. But this is my favorite part of all the airbrushing. Once all the colors get down, all your white paper's gone. And you get to the good part by doing the little details. To me, that always makes the difference. It's in the details. As Gerald Mendez would say, details. But to me, it's always the fun part when you get to the details. I'm using an acrylic base paint, one of the major name brands. I'm not sponsored, so I don't say it on the video, but if you uh, ask me on one of the social media networks, I'll be glad to answer it and let you know. I'm under Tonism Airbrushing on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Vero. And I can't think of any others right now, but I'm probably on that one too, under Tonism Airbrushing. And if I'm not, let me know and I'll sign up. I'm on Twitter under Tone One Third Floor. T O N E O N E 3 R D Floor. color darken up a little bit more each time you go over it be careful not to flood the uh, surface because it will fish eye and spider and all that so you gotta take your time building your color up Can add reducer to it and make it a little lighter.
scratch the top part of that with a dial and put more of a curve in it to bring it out a little more. In fact, I'm going to do it on camera so you see what I'm talking about. This is a dowel. I sharpen it with a pencil sharpener. When I want to get extra fine and the eraser won't do it, I just go like that. Saying. Well, I can't see it on my monitor unless I do that, so I'm assuming that it's the same way for you. But I'll put up a picture. And those of you who are paying attention, uh, see what I'm talking about and put some dark in there do that right now with this color just go over it a couple times uh, it could be dark I'm going to have to go in there with another color but Here, I kind of got too much gray showing, so I'm going to take some of this gray out with the dowel and bring back the strap. Dow because it gives you a nice clean line. As long as you sharpen it, I sharpen it with a metal pencil sharpener, like so. away all the color I don't want and bring it back to the surface of the yellow paper and now the bar of the helmet stay on that side I use a soft brush to uh, Knock the dust away. You could do if you could use this on canvas too if your canvas is just so smooth so that you have no grooves left. If I ever do any canvas anytime soon, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So uh, you can get yuppo paper at most major art stores. I'm not sponsored by one, so I'm not going to say any names, but inbox me on Instagram or Facebook if you want to know, and I'll be glad to tell you. Excuse me. It's not really expensive. I get a sheet 20 by 26 for under five dollars. And there's no prepping. So for your drawing. And that's it. I'm gonna use 
that's the typewriter eraser here. Get that line of overspray out. I'll go back to the dowel and take this pencil line out. Like so. You're just drawing in it's like you're drawing in the negative space. But I like to take out as many pencil lines as I can. I got a bad habit of leaving them in there. I gotta work on that. comes from using opaque colors all the time and how I developed that bad habit because opaque colors are cover your pencil line I like to use the soft brush to wipe away the dust because sometimes the brush on a typewriter pencil will scratch your paint I'm gonna take all of this out. I got some blue overspray here. It finally cooled off again in New York. October 3rd, yesterday was um, just about 95 degrees here, and today, at the moment, as soon as it pops up on my phone, Fifty six degrees. It's like a forty degree difference in twenty four hours. The Dow. Now I could go in there with the light gray and put in the little gray fade that I see in the picture. I like to study the picture in between uh, each session so I can see what I could do for the next phase or what could be better looking for mistakes that look horrible. That just a little bit more here. My reference is on the phone. I don't print pictures out anymore. I don't like uh, spending my money on ink. Keep it digital as much as possible. And I missed the spot here earlier. I 
gotta get a different light, man. Scratch that in. I might scratch the other one in. I think it'd be better. All right. I think that's looking kind of cool. And this here I scratched yesterday, so let's see if I can touch that up. again it's the little details that make a difference in uh, in the artwork which takes it from a cartoon look to closer to realism Realism comes with the details to me. And that's why it takes so long that and only airbrush about three hours a day max. Occasionally I might do six, but that's like once in a while. But usually I'm about three hours a day. I take anywhere, you take about an average of 40 hours a picture. done hundreds of quickies and I know what I could do quick I never knew what I could do I took my time and when I saw my favorite airbrush artists or oh, artists excuse me artists my favorite airbrush artist taking 40 hours on the project. I said I need to take 40 hours on the project too. Since then, I've been taking my time and my artwork, not trying to fly through everything I do. to the dark blue on the helmet too. 
Some areas in the face. I'm gonna add some white to this gray and make it even lighter. And get into the face mask. Paint on the floor. Paint jars and shoe boxes. Paint jars on the shelf behind me. Just looking for the white. Hopefully this is the right one because I had one that was messing up every time I drop reducing it would turn into uh, I don't know like mud almost. So hopefully I got the right white. I should have threw the other one out. But I was figuring I could probably use it as a base with a paintbrush for something. Second thought, thinking about it, I should have threw it out. Alright, now I want to get these little areas of sheen. Oh, I need to, I can do that, there. I need to get back into his face again, though. That's kind of cool, I think I can live with that. Spraying heavy, I'm just fogging here. And I know he says perpendicular, but the line looks heavy on that side horizontally to me, so I'm gonna go horizontal for a sec. And then I'm gonna spray real light though. Big up to Timothy John Luke Smith if you're watching. That's who I was referring to when I said he. He does um, a feed I watch every Wednesday night on YouTube. Good artist, I like his work. You might want to check him out. about the only one I watch that does it on a regular basis a lot of guys start channels and stop he's been doing his for 11 years Again. 
got to get an editing program. bit grimy. There's some overspray so I'm gonna brighten that up a little bit with a dowel instead of paint. It's only 66 degrees outside. It's kind of warm in here. I think that needed to be brightened up a little bit. Want to go in the eyes and eyebrows with a darker cone, darker tone of brown, a dark, dark brown. I need to touch his teeth up with some gray. I think the gray I have here is a little too light. Yeah, you really can't see the difference. Need a little darker gray there. some overspray in the two on his top of his shoulder. So I'm gonna erase that out. My typewriter pencil and the edges with the dowel. So it doesn't look so muddy. Cause the paint white on top of that and bringing it back with white. It's going to look muddy under there, so I'd rather erase. This paper attracts quite a bit of dust. I'm going to have to take a tack rag and wipe it down before I clear it. I 
I use a flat clear. I tried the um, gloss clear on this too, but I like the flat clear better. It's more true to the artwork that you had intended when you were drawing or painting it than the clear does. I mean, the um, gloss does, in my opinion. So I like the flat. Because I didn't have this number covered up, you can't tape off uh, areas on this paper to peel the paint right up when you pick the paint up. So if you don't have Mannix in a metal board and everything cut out, you got to do it all freehand, uh, freehand shield at most. And if you know me, you know I love the freehand. I'm not too into stencils too much. I'm just getting back into using handheld shields. I believe you should be able to do everything freehand. But I definitely freehand better standing up then sitting down so I'm getting more into shields because I don't like standing up and painting anymore If you could tell, but in here I didn't do yet. And here I did, and you can see the difference from there to there. And this still could be a little cleaner in here, but I can see the difference already. Take your pencil line out too. Big up to Tommy Ham to put me up on these dowels. I appreciate it. 
one of my Facebook homies somewhere out in the Midwest really talented dude I met him in um, in Sandra Goggins Airbus Society group. We had a she had a contest and we went up against each other and he got more votes. I think it was like only it was only about six seven people who voted, but he had all the votes. I got none on that Jimi Hendrix. I did. Like he said, it was two different techniques I shouldn't compare, but it made me step my game up. Man, this paper, I definitely got to get a tack rag and wipe this down with a dry tack rag before I clear it. Get the edge more like uh, what I have in the reference here. Buy some more. Big up to my boy Robin in Florida for, for putting me up on the tack rags. I appreciate it. So if you're watching, one day did a couple of motorcycles with him when I was living down there. strap here you can get the dowel at Home Depot Shop. It looks a little fuzzy. I like to make it look as good as possible.
I had some former friends in my old neighborhood that used to tell me I was too much of a perfectionist. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life so we're no longer friends. Because no matter how good I think I am, I could always be better. So I keep striving to be better. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Here I'm going inside the number to make the gray of the strap stand out a little more. That's what it looks like in the picture, in the reference to me anyway. can't do anything about the planes. I'm like a couple minutes from JFK. I don't even hear them anymore. I'm so used to it. Except for when I was trying to watch TV. I got rid of the TV too. Now I want to see if I could bring this in way out a little bit sharper.
a little better anyway. No matter what it was, at least I think I'm gonna check the video to see if, if that's true. I could go in there with a real fine paintbrush that I don't have. I need to buy. Gotta be careful with uh, the oils from your hands on the surface because it'll leave fingerprints that show up once you drop paint on it. And you'll be looking at your fingerprints of the paint. Alright, I think I need to tighten this glove up here. My edges of the glove look kind of rough. So I'm going to tighten the glove up a little bit. Looks like it's using gray. Acrylic paint will give you tip dry and you got to keep constantly picking at your needle. And it'll make you look bad sometimes on camera just like that time there. Look at that, man. Why are you making me look bad on camera? I wonder if that was a crummy white stuck in here. Yep, trying to make me look bad. Look at that, see? Making me look bad, pink.
wanted the rain is like gonna let up. I wanna go to my cousin's house, and watch the game, chill out, hang out with him. Dude is definitely one of my favorite people on the planet Earth. I'm gonna dock in this area up here. Drop a little. purple on top of that or well, blue in this sense the other one looks purplish oh man this is really really making me look bad today I start getting stop sloppy I stop and this is making me look bad man I don't like that I'm gonna put the video up anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go over that with blue. Guess everybody has off days. I feel like I'm a little off today. I'm already at an hour and change, which is good. Little details is where the fun is at for me with this. I 
know, I used to practice writing my name in script. Like I do with a pencil as small as I possibly could with an airbrush. And that would help. That was one of the exercises I used to do. To help me do fine lines. In the beginning when I painted, I had nobody to learn from, so I had to learn for myself. I didn't know what a dagger stroke was. And the theory I had, if I could do with a pencil, I mean, do with an airbrush what I could do with a pencil, I should be able to drawing paint with it. So that's what I worked on in the beginning. And that's how I got into doing fine line details. Practicing writing my name. I used to do a lot of cartoons, superheroes in the beginning. And of course, graffiti. That's what led me into airbrushing in the first place. My cousin Derek. Turned me on to graffiti when I was nine. And I was immediately hooked. And in high school, I saw my art teacher with a airbrush. Eventually I bought one and been stuck ever since. Just about all the other mediums I used to do, I don't really do too much anymore. I don't know, something about spraying paint for me, it just does it. Being that gray is opaque, I'm trying to take out the pencil lines with the gray. And that's why I didn't erase in there. But if you get a needed eraser, and just Go over your pencil lines before you uh, paint. It makes it much easier. You won't have to go through this. Trying to get the best angle I can. I'm my own cameraman, so forgive me.
looking a little bit heavy handed. <laughs> Which means I should probably take a break. some gray on the top of his hand for the background and the gray doesn't show up too good on camera as I'm looking at it gotta ask my brother about lighting he's a professional photographer he takes good pictures he's had pictures in the New York Times and other newspapers in New York Always experimenting with lighting. So I need to ask him about what kind of light I could get to make this a better feed. I think I'm going to see about getting me a new pair of glasses. I've had these almost a year and a half and they don't seem to be working as well as they used to. A good pair of glasses make a difference in your artwork too so especially if you like details I suggest getting your eyes checked. I got mine checked last year and didn't realize my vision was that bad until I started airbrushing and drawing with the new glasses instead of the old ones I was using. And I was like, whoa. It made a difference immediately. weren't straining as much anymore so I think I'm gonna get me a new pair I think I'll get better artwork with better glasses It's a purple and it's gray. Keep this part. Glove. Little 
touch of purple. A little fog over it. Should have used the blue, maybe. Pipe blue also. Let's go in here with this. Need to work on my color theory, that's for sure. I'm not happy with uh, my color mixing. I saw a video that uh, W, I think his page is W. Leon Kennedy, did on uh, color theory. I thought it was really good. I need to watch that whole series again. I think I need a new rag. It's uh, totally covered. I can't. Find a clean spot to test the color on anymore. Should have a video premiering as I speak. I draw a lot in paint. I try to keep the pencil lines down as much as possible. Excuse me. Ok, 
case you don't know, this is Saquon Barkley running back for the New York Giants. They picked him with the second pick of the draft in 218. Or seventh. Um, anyway, this is his second year in the league. Kind of like watching him play. I used to watch him when he was at Penn State. I think the last running back I like to watch, like I like to watch him, was uh, I would say Bo Jackson. Before Bo, I used to like to watch Eric Dickerson. For you young bloods, look them up on YouTube. They were some ballers. Dickerson was the truth. Cracked 2,000 yards in a season also after OJ did it. Okay, we're at an hour and 22 minutes. And uh, nobody's attention span is that long, especially with you youngsters. I could watch a video that long. I know this guy got one. It was three hours long doing a portrait and I watched the whole thing. Yep, I think I'm gonna stop there because I need to change the color to get some more of the glove. So you uh, close up of what it looks like there. A little, little fade toward the edge where the blue is here. Tighten up the letter and I gotta fix this part here because it's too white up a little high. I gotta bring some gray in there. I'm not gonna do it now though. Did the chin strap a little bit. I gotta put the buckles in here. Let's see if I can kill some of that light out of the picture a little bit so you can see it better. I gotta do the buckle in here and the buckle on here. Put a little dark spot in there. Touch the letter in a little bit. Let's see if I can screw this off while I'm doing this so I can, uh, maybe another time. I gotta get into the face mask and shade his face a little more. Darken the eyes up. Let me do the wristband. Try to make it look more three dimensionals, flat. I put some more here in the background and here, a little more color. More color around the top of his helmet over here. That's what the light pointed toward the ceiling, believe it or not. If 
you like the video please hit like subscribe hit the bell icon for alerts on my latest videos and uh, I appreciate you hanging out with me till next time peace